So you're thinking about moving to Pleasant Hill, California? Well, there are five things today that I'm going over that you never even knew. I actually learned a couple things too, being a Pleasant Hill native here. We are going over that in today's video, so stay tuned. Hey guys, Rachel Capel here with Keller Williams in the East Bay. If you want to know all things San Francisco East Bay related, we are the channel for you. So make sure to click that subscribe button and smash that like bell if you're getting some value. And if you have questions, feel free to DM, PM, email our team. We'll be happy to help you. We love all the questions coming. So definitely keep them coming at us. And we got you covered when moving or relocating to the San Francisco Bay Area. All right, so today we are going over the five things that you didn't know about Pleasant Hill. So let's get to it. All right, number one. Pleasant Hill has a ton of awesome events. So when we're not in COVID land and COVID nightmare, Pleasant Hill has some really cool things that they do almost on a monthly basis. Like, so check out this website. It's gonna go over all the cool things. And when we're outside of COVID land that you can partake in, I mean, literally winter, spring, summer, and fall. So you've got all kinds of things that you can do with the kids. This is Pleasant Hills um, website, city website. And you can see here all the different um, events that are going on normally when we are not trapped in COVID shutdowns. They've got um, holiday events, summers by the con summer concerts by the lake, 4th of July festivities, Blues and Brews Festival, which is really fun. And then in the wintertime, Tinkers and Thinkers Innovative Fair, which I love to go and get um, a ton of Christmas little Christmas gifts for everyone. And a light up the night in downtown Pleasant Hill. As you can see, they've all been canceled because of COVID, but you can click here, uh, Pleasant Hill, California, and you can just go on all these different tabs and kind of check out and learn a little bit more about what's going on in Pleasant Hill. All right, number two, we have a totally cool new library coming. Now, within the city of Pleasant Hill, this has been a huge debate. Everyone thought it was shutting the library down. Our city was set shutting the library down. We're not. They're actually rebuilding a brand new library. It's going to be epic and it's coming in 2022. So, it's gonna be super cool, and the old library was really great for kids. This one's even going to be better. So keep posted, and here's the website. Now, Pleasant Hills Library, you can see here, this is the main city of Pleasant Hill, California's uh, website, and everyone thought that they were destroying the library and not gonna create a new one, and it was really funny because people didn't know um, the real story, but we're actually getting a really great new library, and um, this. Uh, tab will tell you all about it and it looks like it's going to be opening grand opening in spring 2022 so it's going to be massive and it's going to be beautiful and a great city addition to Pleasant Hill so definitely come here and check it out number three who knew this but Pleasant Hill has 10 parks I didn't know that how awesome is that for families? I mean, we've had, a, I've gone to a few parks, but I had no idea that they had 10 different parks here. I knew Park and Recs was really big deal, but you have 10 parks to choose from to take your kiddos to. So if you have a small house, which some houses, I mean, there's some apartments here, you have a ton of opportunities to go to parks um, with your kiddos. So just to name a few, we've got Brookwood, Chapanga, Dinosaur Park, Roger Smith Park, Paseo Nogal Park, Pleasant Hill Aquatic Park, Soldiers Memorial Park, but those are just the name few. So Pleasant Hill has a total of 10. Okay, so this is Pleasant Hill's Recreation and Park District website. You can see all the different um, programs here and the parks and facilities. As you can see, there's like a bunch of parks there on the left-hand side right here that you can click on. I love um, Dinosaur Hill Park has a great um, area where you can watch the sunset. There's also Pleasant Hill Park that has an awesome playground for the kids. Roger Smith's Park is a smaller um, park for kids, but there's also different facilities that you can go to and um, it just serves a lot of different needs for all the different um, ages in Pleasant Hill, which I love. So I definitely recommend checking this website out all the links will be down below you can kind of see all the different parks and the programs that they offer um, for the kids family teenagers elderly you name it this is a great city for all different ages so definitely go and check it out and these links will all be down below so i have a ton of reasons why i love pleasant hill but this actually was a really cool little fact too that i learned 
Pleasant Hill has community awards that they give out to the citizens and the people in the community. I've always loved Pleasant Hill because I know it's really community-based and centered and oriented around businesses and families, but this was a cool little fact that I saw that they actually give out awards um, every year. So let's go check out the website and see some of the awards. All right, so we are back to Pleasant Hill's main website, and here are some of the community awards that they give out each year, which I think is so awesome. Uh, 2019, we've got Business of the Year, Nonprofit of the Year, Teen of the Year, Teacher of the Year, Education, Support of the Year, Green Award, Volunteer and Citizen of the Year Award, and on also the Mayor's Award, which is so cool. So I thought it was just a cool little note to add in, um, some top facts that you didn't know about Pleasant Hill. This will be in the link, the links will all be in um, the tab down below. So definitely check it out. Just another reason why we love Pleasant Hill. Okay, my last number five, which is kind of a cool little fun fact. Um, when I was doing my research, I found out Academy Award winner Tom Hanks lived in Pleasant Hill in his childhood. So he grew up here. How cool is that? I know we have a lot of celebrities that have come from the Bay. I'm a huge fan of Tom Hanks and I thought that was really cool. So fun fact. Pleasant Hill had Tom Hanks as a native in the beginning of his life. There you have it, the five things that you didn't know about Pleasant Hill, California. If you wanna know more, click that subscribe button down below and smash that like button if you got some value out of it. If you have questions about moving or relocating to the Bay or within the Bay, we got you covered. So just give us a shout, DM, PM, email, text message, whatever you feel comfortable with. We got you covered when coming to the San Francisco Bay Area. Thanks so much, guys. Make sure to check these videos that are out on Pleasant Hill. And if you have more questions, we love them, so we can come. See you in the next video, bye.